The oversupply of oil around the world has been caused in part by the benefits of shale technology in the United States. But it's likely to dry up as global energy needs rise and oil producing countries curb output. On May 25th, OPEC and Russia announced that they would extend supply cuts through March 2018, continuing to remove nearly 1.8 million barrels from the market each day. OPEC is trying to restore balance in the energy markets with this reduction in supply, which should stabilize prices over time. Somewhat ironically, U.S. producers are benefiting. They aren't a party to the production cutback deal, so they're reopening the taps as prices stabilize. Higher prices will support the resumption of long-delayed exploration and drilling operations, potentially bringing jobs and investment back to U.S. oil fields. With the advancements in extraction technology, break-even costs have been falling. So the price per barrel doesn't have to reach the same dollar amount as in the past for those companies to start making a profit. In fact, if oil prices climb higher, it's possible that another shale boom could take off. But the rise in U.S. production isn't fully offsetting OPEC's cuts. Since OPEC and Russia first agreed to reductions in December 2016, U.S. production has risen a little over 1 million barrels per day in response, only partially undermining the nearly 1.8 million barrels being cut by OPEC. Still, if crude oil prices stabilize above $50 per barrel, we'll likely see a modest increase in fuel prices. The U.S. will also likely remain a net importer of oil, but with domestic production supplying a larger share of the market, more of the price at the pump will return to the economy as capital investment.